darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. <laughs> the dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. 
Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gorthys robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salaryman were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless sparch down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's... It's genius. All right. Go on the three. One... Three, go! <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower, get to the shelter. Oh god, oh god, oh god! What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so... You just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now... Tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe. 
only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well... That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling this guilty. Hurt anyone. That's what... Leave her alone! Where did they take Athena? It seems... Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. Hell no. There's no way we're working for you. Not a girl. Sorry. I think I must have misheard you. Come again. Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone! No. I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. You heard me the first time. Hell no. It must be my age catching up with me, but I still can't hear you. Maybe if I turn up the volume. You do whatever you want! Just stop, please! That's all I wanted to hear. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good you didn't give in. She'll respect us now. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll, hey, come on, come we'll on. We'll find Just a rocket everyone booster. Everyone calm down, okay? I'm loving your... Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll store. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Many things that Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure there's, there's of the mission. in there so somewhere. We just fault? just gotta keep looking. The one forcing us to go on a Actually, I mission. could use just your help. Yeah, of course you could. Real helpful. Is that a yes or no? What? You I think old Jack would leave his meat buddy is, hanging? We don't have a choice. I Valerie's kind of got honestly into don't a know how to answer that. You don't think I know so that? listen, maybe I hate to be the bearer of good news here, okay, but if there's one, one thing that you know we about me, go. it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret project. What's your solution? That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally 
punch someone in the face before you shoot them. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Everyone just please shut up for a second. Again, because here, here's, here's the deal. I... The beacon is in handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. How many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Billions. I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. <laughs> Yeah, it'll work. <laughs> Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooter's. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, princess! They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it.
Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me, okay? I know Helios like the back of my hand. <laughs> Which one, jerk-off? Oh, actually, I was wondering about that. When you take care of business, do you use robo-hand or your real one? All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. Plan for what you say to Scooter, because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. Ha! It's a living, breathing fry Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or. Oh, shoot. Scooter! Great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just. <clears throat> Go on. <laughs> now nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it pop. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut mine? We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Jenny, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. 
Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Heh. <laughs> That's my girl. Ha ha ha. This is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just got I just to... want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a Did fluke she... or something. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. It's alone? Yeah. That's okay, this is when we're in the bomb. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. But you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's felt well, huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah. Let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Dumpy go! Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. That's it? I thought he'd be like, I don't know, helpful, or at the very least, an unwitting psycho decoy so we could escape with our faces intact. Nope. Just a tiny floating shitty. <laughs> you see? I told you so. Wallet head. Alright, wallet head. 
Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Uh, uh, what were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what, not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? Company car, office with a view, ugh, unlimited free lunches. I've earned it all. Yeah, that's the spirit. And you'll get it. With my help. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I don't wanna end up psycho dinner. Mr. Huh? Sleep Pattern? Oh, flawless! Not now. Interrupt, Rem Psycho! Dumpy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat, Metal Buck! Thanks, Dumpy. Oh. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's, that's classy. Could have used that little shock around my ex girlfriend. Okay, listen up because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirtying their hands. Oh, you're gonna get Hugo McSwoopy Hair's face back, no problem. Next stop, Hyperion, baby. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket. I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face, or the digistruct won't work. <laughs> Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, hmm. Okay. He's peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth <laughs> with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. 
You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch, pinch it off. Just pinch it oh. off. Right. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do that to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save the face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash. You look about as low-down Pandoran as they come. No offense. But if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. Personal transformation machine. So... What are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks, V. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Inflammability is plus or minus 100%. <laughs> what does that even mean? Are you both blind? Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. 
We're talking about when you slapped me. Yeah, I'm talking about the slap with the... Look, I, I had just had that fall and, and, and had this, uh, out-of-body experience. And, and I, don't, I don't know why what happened happened, but I, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the scan screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... <laughs> oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... Big. That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back.
gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. Who'd have thought? We haven't even gone that far, and it all feels a million miles away. It puts things in perspective. Everything that we've gone through, it all seems so small from up here. Yeah, it does. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... We get the beacon, then ditch Valerie's goons. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah. I gathered as much. Hey, watch it! Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me, is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning! Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Hey! Looks like we've got another dead bad guy! Henderson. Impact detected on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know! Did you know the damage is critical? So, this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! We could really use your advice here! This ship requires additional thrust. Okay. Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Which is bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty! Now turn them other rockets up to 11! Shaking. No, that's just good. We're running real hot right now. Like, kind of scary hot. But what? We're gonna take it to the limit. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity, and when we do, you gotta shut these puppies down. You hear? Yeah, yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? Achieving escape velocity in five, four, three, two, one. Go! <laughs> So then, why are the alarms still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They are going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. 
Everyone stay calm. We got this. Ah, there's a girl I fell in love with. What? Huh? huh? What? Don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of it, yeah, but you're set up to bite. I'll be walking you through it, though. Go. 
Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! I'm gonna kiss him. That was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. The worst part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. <laughs> there we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. <laughs> You've got some things to answer for. 
Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh, what's the word? Providence? Well, now, if it isn't Cockknock and Tweedledick, how's about you get out of my way and let me go do my job? I really hope I get an excuse to kill you. Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Hard. And what's that doll piece of crap you released say? We're not the biggest doll fans up here. As a matter of fact, we have orders to rip that shit to pieces. Which is what's gonna happen to you if you don't start talking. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. <laughs> huh. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... What am I Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Bad, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. I'm sure we went over the particulars, but can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's so You're kidding valuable? me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward slipped your mind too. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know Hugo Vasquez. It's been real. by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. You wanna dance? Let's dance! Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. Sounds play, right, pal? 
Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the... hub of heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. Howdy. No, Rue, right? Some lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what are you wearing? Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. Looks like they worship. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. About our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. Nope, not a tour guide. All right, there's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! I believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food. <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. 
If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap, I... Oh, come on. No, no, no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Food? Ow! Oh, my outfit's ruined! Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You! Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. She's the head of all Helios tours, and you're superior. So show some respect, robot. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. <laughs> Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Bordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Look at these guys. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty though. Uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... No. You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience for all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Ah! Handsome Jack's father. Defeating, um... What a badass. Cool! The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. <laughs> what a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish I had a horse like that. If you feed it, the stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait! Um... Uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh! Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. It's just a chair. But what it represents is an idea. Jack started as a lowly programmer sitting in a chair just like this. And now he has a VIP tour dedicated to his greatness. 
Just imagine where your chairs might take you. Straight to the top, baby! Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. <laughs> so, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. Yeah, <laughs> okay. If posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? <laughs> It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Jordan, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just stop. Why? Oh boy. I, I I I can't believe we're here. Uh here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh it ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Sure. Go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're on Goodbye. Your own, lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. The VIPs will remember that. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, 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 sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second and... Uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. If that's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First, you give me a body that isn't reason. Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. What am I doing? What are you doing? Everything in this office is mine now, which technically means you're breaching security. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you, 
Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez in the, uh... So in the first place, maybe you shouldn't have. Weren't reason to find your friends. They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Valerie's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the agent. Hey, how you doing? I'd, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder, if you have been wounded by gunfire, please hang up and dial emergency medical services. Evac. We need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't... Mess it up or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats and will take your call in the order it was received. Do you even know who you're talking to? I went down to Pandora and lived to tell the tale. My cufflinks are made of diamonds and human incisors, so you think calling security is gonna stop me? Come on. You're not really gonna do that, are you? There's a ton of security nearby. I wouldn't push my luck if I were you. I'm a betting man of it. Always have been, and right now I'm feeling pretty damn good about my odds. Even with guards nearby. So what do you say, Eva? You like gambling? I, um... I'll, I'll give you a little more time. But I'm watching you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Fiona, you there? Right. What took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, well, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no hope means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you in there with Yvette, I would've let my stun baton do the talking. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would've bought Yvette a one-way ticket to Strangulation Town, with a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. I mean, actually, legally? That's what you're supposed to do to traitors. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it into the bylaws. Yvette's got nothing to do with this, all right? Just leave her alone. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. The stress is getting to him. Reese, nobody's talking about Yvette. We need to come up with a plan. Will do. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and, yeah, uh, maybe some brains and whatnot. For what? Ah, uh, you know, the usual and boring meetings, shit can upstart executives, yada yada yada. Look, the point is, that's the centerpiece of your new plan. You're gonna need to go in the outhole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds, a lot of people died down there. No, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're, you're just... you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess, and your disguise breaking down. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. Alright, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there.
Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. This horse down. I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Stop looking. Why is it bleeding? There's there's blood. Why is there blood? Where did it just fill the strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet Reese. me at... Reese, are you there? Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating Drake fruit. Really want to... With the... Uh, Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! to lead. a mockery of the Hyperion finger gun tradition. Seriously? That's your problem with this? Wait. You're not Vasquez. Smoke him for real! <laughs> Here's some more for ya. <laughs> 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 
Hope you're not allergic to lead. Screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see one. Hey, hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I'm Vasquez. Not Reese. <clears throat> what a stupid robot, am I right? <laughs> yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey. I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. Hey, Gordas, just so you know, I, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I know. You were acting me. It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. But now I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. You! Hey, Gordis, you, uh, you wanna go first? Huh? Yeah? No, thank you! Well, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant.
All right, I get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordis boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Okay! Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. <clears throat> Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Oh, yeah, I'll pause it. No, go ahead. No, Got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Look, there's no need for messy. More messy. Just know that we're working on it. I'm really close. You better be, or it's gonna get messy. Yeah, yeah, you just said that, man. Look, I'm right in the middle of this. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey, don't! Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I 
I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. Wow, I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Well, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's really. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but uh, you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just not what we're going for. A scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it way. So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, fend some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. Yeah, it's a spirit. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> it's delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right? Go deep, yeah. <laughs> Belong to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. Definitely not. Oh, this. This shotgun. It's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. So this means you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. Nope, my cute cowboy hat. Cowgirl. Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a... Sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. I hope this 
Deacon looks super cute on me. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. With that Gordon. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It feels like I'm sitting in the chair of a supervillain. But you could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Who is it you're talking to? They told me to stay quiet. Oops! <gasps> I did it again! I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle of something. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey! Here she is! We could wield Hyperion's might together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? And open the vault, finish what I started. Even if there's a tentacle monster in there, I don't care anymore. Oh, you, you don't gotta explain. <laughs> I was all about the vault. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long time coming. That's it. <laughs> Here it comes. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. 
Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running Iberian. And she doesn't even know I exist! That's... Oh, God, it's... It's priceless. So... Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man, it feels good to get out of there. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So, what happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a clapping, because I want to give a very special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives, totally president material, all the way from janitorial. This can't be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Hyperion, Pandora, help us. Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome goddamn Jack. <laughs> It's true, 
back to 